who doesn't like a good chicken salad sandwich? So we've got one chicken breast. We're gonna make it with just one. You can always multiply this recipe and use more chicken breast and just multiply your ingredients later. I like to hydrate my cranberries. So I love cranberries and chicken salads. I always put a little hot water on them or I'll put water on them and put them in the microwave for about a minute and then I strain them. Now they're all hydrated. You can put anything you want in your chicken salad. The base of chicken salad is usually mayonnaise, salt, pepper, celery. Some people like eggs. I don't particularly care for eggs, but you can put eggs in it and it will definitely stretch your chicken salad. I will use celery or I'll use celery salt and my secret ingredient, a little bit of honey. So here we go. I'm gonna chop my chicken up. And I like nice big cubes. You fix it the way you like it. I like chunky chicken salad. Some people take their chicken and they run it through a food processor and they like it really fine. It's fine, it, just as long as you like it, that's what's important. I always say if you change one thing in a recipe, you make it your own. So, there's my chicken. Got it pretty good. Salad. I don't like my celery as chunky, so I'm going to split this little stock and make it smaller. And if you don't have celery, you can always use celery salt. Celery. You can also put apples in it. I don't peel my apple when I'm going to add it to my chicken salad this amount and just a little bit of apple. Cut that pretty small as well. Maybe the same size as the chicken or smaller. Okay. I'll make this a little bit smaller. Just to give it some crunch and flavor. I like a sweet and salty flavor. Apples. Cranberries. I'll put half of those cranberries since I have apple in it. And we're going to put mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. Now, I don't give you measurements for mayonnaise. Some people like their chicken salad dry, some people like it wet. This is about, for that one chicken breast, this is about two heaping tablespoons. I'll stir it and see, you know, how I like it, how it looks. That's probably a good consistency for me. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Stir it. I don't have to do a taste test. Some people like mustard. I, I, I don't particularly care for that, but it's it could be wonderful if you like it. You see, that's about the consistency I like my chicken salad. I'm going to give this a taste because I want to know if I need to add anything. Let's see what we got here. Pretty good. I got this whole grain bread out of the food pantry. It's 12 grain. A lot of people like white bread or light bread. I think we don't give this bread enough credit. It's really hearty and you can taste like some of the nuttiness and seeds in it. And I like to toast my bread. So I've got my bread toasted. I'm going to put 
put a nice piece of lettuce on it. And really, sometimes I still like to slather a little bit of mayonnaise on my bread. I don't like a dry chicken sandwich, so chicken salad sandwich. I'm gonna slather a little bit more mayonnaise on there, just a little bit. a nice crunch. Add my chicken salad. Okay, I can probably get three sandwiches out of this. If I pal it real high, I want to get two out of this, but anyway. <laughs> serve this with fresh fruit. Remember, I still have some of this apple, so we're gonna add some apple and strawberries to it. How about that? We garnish this plate with the rest of the apple and added some strawberries, and that's a nice lunch or light dinner.